Yeah, I'm gonna have Ming Ma push forward right now. Just move up to this cover. See what he can see. Not much. There could be some aliens over here. Just keep him on overwatch. Then sprinting all the way up here would be nice, but it would also be very dangerous. Uh, sprinting up there would give Alexi a shot with his sniper rifle, but the likelihood of being flanked and then killed viciously and terribly, like really badly, I think the aliens skin their enemies. Now, now I don't have any confirmation, but uh, it's just hearsay around here that they actually flay their enemies alive when they can catch them. So. Alexi's not exactly going to be in the best situation if that happens. I don't think he'd like that very much. Really, I don't think there are many people who would like that very much. There's a couple. I think we call them uh, masochists. Other people call them strange. But, you know. I doubt that many people want to be flayed alive. You know what, in hindsight, even masochists I don't think want to be played alive. That's a bit intense. But if you do, you know, I'm not judging you. Not at all. So we're looking at this shot. We got a 50% and a 30%. Uh, this is not very good. On top of that, sorry about my sudden accent. Just wanted to kind of put it on. I do this on occasion. Um, on top of that, if we uh, if we don't overwatch this alien right over here, he might be able to come down to this cover, flank Ming Ma. So for now, I think we're going to have him sit there. We're going to see what we can do with our other soldiers first. Which ultimately isn't very much. We still haven't seen this area. There could be another group of soldiers. Of Excuse me. There could be another group of aliens here. So, I think for now, we're just going to push up to the next cover. Torres, I think, is going to hang back a bit and reload his shotgun. Most weapons only have four uh, shots per clip. Um, I think the, the machine gun actually has only three. But... As I've said before, please don't quote me. Please. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. This is all conjecture here. Okay, that was a mess. He's overwatching. Okay. We're playing it conservative here. Alexi doesn't like to play cons Oh. Well, I say he doesn't like to play conservatively. But he may just play conservatively here. Although... Let me see. The big thing is that alien needs to go. He's on Overwatch, that means... Um, it's gonna be hard... Well, not hard so much as incredibly dangerous... For any of my soldiers to maneuver... In pretty much... Pretty much anywhere. So I think Alexi, he won't get another shot with his sniper rifle this turn, so we may as well take it. Just uh, cross your heart, hope to die, Alexi. Except don't really hope to die, because it would be unfortunate if you died. That's a no-go. Let me see. Torres, if you were just one rank higher... Um, on the other hand, I might, it's a bit of a cheeky move here, let's see if we can, okay, actually we might not even, there we go, so this is Hoffman with a rocket, um, it's a universal 90% chance to hit where she wants to, if she misses she'll fire somewhere off over here, over here, 
Hopefully not over here, because if she fires over here, it's going to hit this truck, and that would be really bad. But it looks like she can hit both of the aliens with this rocket, so let's just hope she hits. Oh, great, there was a girder in the way. Just brilliant. Ooh. Ooh, now that's a twist. There's still aliens out here. And that, to me, looks like the end of the map. Yeah, the end of the map's right here. Let's see what we can see. I don't like this. From Ming Ma, in the very least. Okay, it's just two more. Just a couple sectoids. Nothing to be too concerned about. 50%, 50%. Just have him do his thing. Keep them in position. We'll have Torres dash over here. Try and get some flanking shots on them. Wow, we've still only seen sectoids so far. Ooh, ooh, Ming Ma took a shot. It's just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Please be just a flesh wound. Okay. Now, I think if I send Ming Ma over here, he'll be able to get a shot on those aliens. Yep. Okay. I was just confused because on occasion I've sent soldiers into high... Uh, cover, where the cover was right in line with the alien, and they couldn't get a shot. But in this case, we're looking at 70% on either of them. Of course, we've got a guy telekinetically helping his friend, so let's take a shot on him. It's a no-go. That is unfortunate. Let's see what, um... Okay. By the way, to finish that sentence, let's see what Torres can do. Sorry about that. We can send Torres over here. The flatbed of this truck is uh, low cover, so we should be able to shoot over it. So give him a good position so that even if he misses, it should force the aliens to uh, reposition. He'll just run and gun up here. And pop that back alien. 70%. Oh, beautiful. Of course. So here we've got eight aliens killed. Zero operatives lost. Rather, rather unusual. I say it's unusual every time. Pretty much all of our missions have been like one or zero operatives lost, but uh, usually by now we'd be facing some more dangerous aliens, but in the very least, we've been running some good missions so far. We got both of the meld canisters, and you might note, we brought back a live captive. So let's return to the HQ and see what we have going on. Ah, Torres is a corporal now. Oh. Okay. So, as an assault, um, since this is a second level, I get a choice between two different skills. I can either take, since he's an assault, I can either take aggression, which gives him a plus 10% critical chance per enemy in sight, or I can take tactical sense, that confers plus 5 defense per enemy in sight. 
The difference here is um, whether you want an aggressive soldier or a defensive soldier. Overall, I don't think soldiers are worth much if they can't survive, because we want to get them up to the, le to the rank of colonel. That'd be the best. So we're going to take tactical sense to keep them alive. And Ming Ma has been wounded from that shot during the mission. And we've got a new medal, the International Service Cross. We'll deal with there. Oh, we also got a couple more. The Pitcher's Medal, named after, I believe it was, uh, Torres's brilliant throw. And the Urban Combat Medal. Of course, of course. So from this, since we captured him, since we captured an alien, we've got a couple new researches. We can interrogate the sectoid, and we have a research into plasma pistols. What we got, we got the uh, alien's weapon, which is a plasma pistol. We won't be able to equip it to any soldier until we do this research for the plasma pistol, but for now we've at least got it. We won't have to build one later. Uh, we got some corpses, we got the captive himself, uh, some weapon fragments, and some meld. So we've successfully stopped the abductions in Lyon, which is brilliant. We have four scientists. Panic across Africa and Europe has increased, but I don't think that's a big issue right now. And panic has decreased by one in Mexico. Let's just look at the status of things since that happened. See the world is starting to go into a bit more panic now. We stopped Canada from going into the red by going to Mexico, but now Egypt is on the edge of uh, panic. So we'll see what uh, we'll see where we have to deploy next, and it will be hard to keep the panic down across the entire world. But in the meantime, on a much lighter note... Oh, I think we can contain it for quite a while. I say that. Don't actually know. But it doesn't really matter. So we're going to change the research project. Since we um, put XCOM HQ in Africa, um, all our interrogations are completed instantly. So we're just going to uh, begin this project and get it done. Got our nice interrogation cinematic. Oh yeah. You don't know what those are? No? They're your worst nightmare. <laughs> yes. I hate those things. Brilliant. Our next objective is to capture an outsider alien. I say brilliant. It's not that brilliant. It's a very dangerous thing to do. But I trust my soldiers will be able to do it perfectly. So for this interrogation, we got um, research credits. This is what we usually get from interrogating an alien. It's um, some insight into a research that um, decreases 
the amount of time it'll take to research things. So that was into beam weapons, reducing the time it'll take to um, research beam weapons. I just said beam weapons so many times, I'm going to say it a couple more times just, just for good measure. Beam weapon and beam weapon. Okay, cool. We're all in the same picture with beam weapons. Brilliant. So, I'm a strange man. Okay, um, we are going to continue with this meld recombination. It's only got three days left. We may as well finish it up. It'll give us a couple tactical edges. So let's look at our list. We've got the ship transferring to Asia in one day. We've got satellite over Japan in three days. Meld recombination in three. Ooh. And our first council report in four days. But for now, let's go to the uh, barracks. I love efficient interrogations. So let's go to... Um, Awarding some medals here. Urban Combat Badge. Um, I'm actually going to treat this Urban Combat Badge as a Purple Heart. That being any soldier wounded in combat, I'm going to award it to, of course, as we get the medal. So Ming Ma, wounded in combat going to get a purple heart. Yeah, salute. At ease. Brilliant. Then we've got this metal. Um, let's um, just award it under the name of Pitcher's Metal in a uh, honor of Torres. We're going to give it to, let's see, let's give it to Hoffman. She did some fabulous work in that last mission. Taking out two aliens with one rocket. That is quite a thing. And then we've got the International Service Cross Medal, which we have to assign a power to. So here we have, um, plus two will per different nationality in the squad, which is nice, or plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. So plus two aim would be nice, but I can't speak to how many continent bonuses we're going to get throughout this game. We could lose quite a few countries, actually rather soon, if things don't work out properly. On the other hand, plus two will per different nationality in the squad. We have control over that. Let's add that right there. And that would be the power of the International Service Cross. Um, right now, I don't think there are any soldiers that will either benefit from this or, in my opinion, I don't think any of them have earned it either. Not yet. I think that's that's a pretty pretty good metal right there. That will uh, deserve some above and beyond commitment to, to the XCOM project. So for now I'm just going to leave it unassigned. Uh, so let's check out engineering. I don't think we have anything new here. Hmm. Well, you say fast range of alien species. All we've seen are little sectoids. We've got all of the... Everything here looks under control, so... As soon as we can get some more money, which will probably be in... During the uh, council report... We'll, um... Be looking to put up more satellites. Right now we have... 
as she said, as many satellites in orbit as we can get. So in order to put more up, we're going to need to go to engineering and build another one of these satellite uplinks. That's going to cost quite a bit of money since we're going to need to build a new power generator as well. But that can wait for next time. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll of course be putting up more soon. Uh, if you, you know what, I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe. You know what to do. If you enjoy the video, you know what to do. I trust you. I don't think I need to uh, pander with the like and subscribe thing that I've been doing before. Um, but I will continue to say, enjoy the rest of your day, you amazing viewers.